fascinating fossils, the frightening but awesome sea scorpion. God has filled our world with many amazing creatures. When you consider all of the animals living today, and then add to that all of the creatures that we know only from the fossil record, and add to those um, animals that have become extinct in historic times, well, the numbers are astonishing, and the diversity boggles my mind. I look closely at rocks and stones on my daily walks and have found many fossils, some quite rare, but always fascinating. The fossil I'm about to tell you about now I found in Saginaw, Michigan, but it is almost certain that this exotic creature never lived here. What I found on my walk was a small example of a sea scorpion, also known by the very difficult to pronounce name, Uri Pitrid. This specimen measures about one inches in length, and the matrix that it's in measures an inch and a half by an inch and a half by one inch. This is a fossil specimen when you, uh, small specimen I should say, when you consider um, that some grew in length taller than an adult um, human male. Some grew up to eight feet in length. The Uripetrid are an extinct group of arthropods uh, that are related to the arachnids or spiders and uh, include the largest knowing, known arthropods to have ever lived. They are members of the extinct order <coughs> of Uripetrid uh, which is the most diverse group of Paleozoic chel chelrate in uh, terms of species. The sea scorpion varied greatly in size, with the largest known fossil specimen measuring some 8 feet in length. Most species, however, were less than 8 inches, such as the one which I have found and I'm showing you in the slide presentation that goes along with this. They were very formidable predators who survived and thrived in a shallow warm waters in both seas and lakes from the mid ordovician to the late Permian period. While I follow the biblical dating of the uh, earth being very young, science claims these to have lived between 460 to 248 million years ago. Although informally called sea scorpions, only the earliest ones were marine, later ones lived in brackish or fresh water, and they were not true scorpions. According to accepted theory, the move from sea, sea to fresh water probably occurred in the Pennsylvanian era. The sea scorpion went extinct during the Permian Triassic extinction event some 252 million years ago, according to secular science. They were widespread with uh, near worldwide distribution. There are about two dozen families of sea scorpion known, and in 1825 they were described by zoologist James Ellsworth Decay. He recognized the arthropod nature of the first ever sea scorpion specimen, which was found by Dr. S. L. Mitchell. In 1984, the uh, species known as the Uripetrus um, was named as the first state fossil of New York. Uripetrids have been described as follows. Typically, they had large, flat, semicircular caprice. Um, followed by a jointed section, finally tapering to a flexible tail, most uh, ending with a, a long spine at, at the very end, though some had a large flat tail, possibly with a similar spine. Behind the head are 12 body segments, each of, each of which was formed from a dorsal plate. The tail is spiked uh, in most specimens, just as the tail of a modern scorpion that lives on land. Some species may have used it to inject venom, but there is no certain evidence that the sea scorpion was a venomous creature. Most species had paddles toward the end of their carapace, uh, which were used to propel themselves through the water. A suborder, style Anvarina, had walking legs rather than paddles. Underneath, in addition to the pair of uh, swimming appendages, the creature had four pairs of jointed legs for walking, as well as two claws in the front. Other features common to ancient and modern arthropods of this type include one pair of compound eyes and a pair of smaller eyes located between the larger pair of compound eyes. Many of the Uripetrids had large and long enough legs with uh, which were probably used for terrestrial movement, such as in land crabs uh, of our time. And some species are in, indeed believed to have been amphibians, uh, emerging onto land as part, of their, as part of their regular life cycle. 
Uripetrids are considered to be close relatives of the horseshoe crab, as also is the trilobite, which is now extinct also. And other studies show them to be closer to the arachnids and uh, that they are closely related to land-living scorpions. An interesting thing about this small rock um, with the Uripetrid fossil on it that I found is if you, if you turn it over, um, as you'll see in my photos here, there is a, a second fossil showing part of a creature which has a jagged, almost like t a ripped edge to it. And I've had uh, some difficulty trying to figure out exactly what that is. Um, it looks, though, um, to be uh, the side of a trilobite. Uh, which coexisted in the oceans with the Uripetrids. Uh, but as you look at it, if you have uh, any thoughts about um, what it may be, please put them in the comment sections as I would be very happy to hear um, what you have to say. And again, I encourage you as you're out walking, watch the rocks and stones because you never know what amazing um, relic and fossil from the past that you might turn up.